When we get to the perimeter over here, there's a building with a slanted edges. That's the daycare center. In the middle is the digging pit. That's where they did some remediation. And then on the behind the bleachers is the play yard of the school and the Boys and Girls Club where the kids for years played on top of this again arsenic, a DDT, all types of stuff and that's the one where when I asked why they had to shut down that play yard my kids were in the Boys and Girls Club there they said it was a methane bubble which I thought was horrible in and of itself because methane can explode and my kids are walking on top of it so I was horrified yes and I was like okay well at least they identified it and they're going to protect the kids you know again I had an element of trust at that point so I for a second put it aside yeah but that area I mean if the wind blows this way it's going to blow into this field I you know again file it under common sense but that's okay. just me post 9-11 glad the american legion is here doing whatever. you're glad the american legion is here doing their good work whatever they do i don't know what they do <laughs> follow us perhaps <laughs> okay. so this so. area these buildings have been um Again, repurposed and on the surface it's like great we have playing fields and we have a playground and we have a Gaelic football league and look at how they're using the school they closed it down because of financial reasons supposedly I'm gonna look into that but you know the argument was is that we didn't have enough kids here so they shipped them off the island um, half of the school is still empty we could have a community group but is this the school yeah it says San Francisco Gaelic Athletic Association Community Center on it. Yeah, so they've rented it out to them. The motorcycle cops use it for training in the back. What happened to the actual school? Um, well, those kids are now in the city. They And is this where your kids were going to school? This is the reason I picked this place, because right on the other side is my house. I could walk my children here. And by the middle of the fall semester that... You know, they closed it. So my kids had a beautiful, newly resurfaced play yard, gorgeous school, neighborhood kids. Then they didn't. So and that, was it at that point you moved them and you tried to put them in San Francisco City Schools, but that didn't work out, so you brought them home and right. homeschooled them right. then. Right. Okay, so now... Uh, Tell us what's going on in San Francisco. It's a building labeled San Francisco Gaelic Athletic Association Community Center. Right. But the, but the police are using it. I, they use the back of it for um, police training. So motorcycle cop training. Really? Yeah. They all file in there. Rank and file. And then C3 Church also runs a church out of the other end. And then each... Wait, and now that's the... Wait right there are the you end. pointing to the dark structure right. yep. or the or the yellow the end of the yellow structure at the very end of the yellow structure where the well, gentleman hands is, over it so just wait a minute okay where the gentleman's doing the construction they're opening a cafe and that whole auditorium area with the you know in the left wing of the tr of the old school is now c3 church christian city church they're a good church. They're not, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just that they have rented out that and renovated that. So that's being used. Again, part of this whole dynamic is we've asked for space to open businesses and to do things. And there's no, like, kind of production. There's nothing made, no, no, no uh, leniences for us to learn how to, you know, there's no micro business training or any kind of thing for people to actually be productive and invest in their own community but everyone from the outside can come in and take whatever they want as long as they have the money to pay for it so um where did are people coming from to attend this church from the city from san francisco where all over san francisco are they aware of the um of the, the toxicity of this place have they been told about that they've been told um, some have faith that God will protect them from everything. Wow. Others have um, faith or trust. 
in the city telling their pastor that it's safe. I've already told them it's bull crap. Um, so. But you know, once again, you can only lead a horse to water. If they want to drink it, um, I will let them know where a good doctor is. <laughs> so this is C C3 Church Campus? Yes. Is that it? C3. Yeah. Okay, now. And again, very good people doing good work, trying to make the community better, trying to give us a church home, if that's what you're looking for. And I have no fault with them at all. I just feel bad that they're being taken advantage of. Okay, hold, um, hold on, hold on. Do you have another thing to say about that right now? What, that they're being taken advantage of? A little bit more. Yeah, they should be told. I mean, this building was closed for a reason. I'm going to find out why, because it wasn't all economics. There's nothing economical about making children bus off of a place in droves. Yeah. And... Did it sit fallow for a while, unused for a while, after they got the kids out? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. quite, a, quite a few years, actually. And we had inquired, we had asked, you know, well, can we rent part of it? or, you know, businesses, or, you know, the gym has a kitchen, could people who cook start a, you know, little countertop business, like, is there any way that we can do this, and it was like, well, if you get all the things together, we can, we can rent it to you, but no mention of, like, discounts for island residents, no encouragement for people to really try to invest in their own community or have local businesses, so it's kind of, you know... I, I thought that's what tie-dye was supposed to do, but they don't really do that kind of stuff for people. C-I-H-D-I. Tie-dye. And again, the, the, the intent of tie-dye is awesome. I love any idea of helping people who need the help. That I don't, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to speak down upon them, but I think that if the city would get their noses out of the work that they try to do and stop using them as another tool of theirs to suppress people and suppress their knowledge of what's going on, then they would be more effective in what their, I believe their mission is. So tell us again what TIHDI stands for. It's Treasure Island Homeless Development Initiative. It's a nonprofit that oversees about 20 agencies on the island and houses um, quite a few of the participants in those programs. And again, I think their intent is good, but they're being muscled out of being effective by the constraints put on them through Tida in the city. They have to do what they're told or they lose all of the option to help anyone. Mm -hmm. That's a hard position to be in. Mm -hmm. So, where I would stand up and give them the Transamerica finger, I, not everyone's like that. Not everyone is willing to give all that up.